Hey guys, let's talk about the iPhone storage full and you can't use your iPhone no matter what you do. I have the situation here, as you can see, iPhone storage, it's almost full. It's using right now 62.73 gigabytes of 64, right? And the problem here is that I'm deleting all the apps. I just have some apps here that I need to use. I can't delete them. And I try to delete the cache, the pictures, everything. And I still have a lot of storage here being used by the system data. That's the main problem here. Just take a look on application here on red. I don't have that much when I compare to the system data that's taking a lot. And also the iOS here is taking some space, but not that much again, comparing to the system data. So something is wrong here. If I just leave my phone and start using it, if I don't take uh, extra pictures or video, not a, nothing of this, still tomorrow, I'm gonna have the message here that I, the iPhone is full and I can't use anymore. It's like a nightmare, right? So let me just come down here, see that I have iOS taking 11 gigabytes and system data is taking 37 gigabytes. That's a lot. Uh, from my 64, right? It's more than half. So I have to find a way to fix this. I don't know what Apple is doing here with this situation, but it's a nightmare, right? So I've tried everything. I've tried to clean the photos, videos, um, delete some apps, clean the cache, and it doesn't work. It's a lot of work what, that I'm doing here. It's not working. What I have to do is just come here and erase the phone, reset the phone and start over. I know it's a lot, right? But there's no other way other than buy another cell phone or try this. If I buy another cell phone, I have to do this anyway, right? Start fresh. So what I can do is just come here to the main settings. So basically I'm here to the settings, general, and then I come all the way down and I hit this transfer or reset iPhone. So I have to do this to start fresh, right? I know it looks scary, but you just need to prepare your iPhone first. So you come here to the get started and then you're gonna to back up your iPhone, right? So you'll be ready for your new iPhone. That's the idea. It's like just a new iPhone. You're going to reset it and then you're gonna see later that the system data is just taking some space, but not that much. So Here's the information about everything. So I just hit done here and I'm get prepared to reset my phone, right? So let me just come down here and hit erase all content and settings. There we go. So you're going to erase this phone. Here's the information about uh, sign out of Apple account, remove your personal data and everything else, right? Just uh, be patient and do all of this. You see here the apps and data, there's a lot being used. So you just need to hit continue and hit erase iPhone, okay? Then you just insert your passcode. And now you see that's uploading the data to the iCloud, okay? So this is your safe uh, part that you're gonna have everything backed up to the cloud and then later, when you start um, using your cell phone again, it's going to offer the opportunity to bring all the data back to your iPhone, right? So let's just wait for it to upload everything to the cloud and then you can continue from there. So there we go, guys. We are back here to this main screen for the installation, okay, or the setup. So I just need to Move this up and install all over. So I'm going to select the language, English, the region, it's United States. Okay, appearance, and just continue to do all the setup. Set up without another device. I don't wanna set up with extra device here. Just do the basics. It's going to activate my phone. Data in privacy, I just hit continue, age range. So I just click here, face ID. I can just put my face here. So I walked through the face ID process. Now I just need to create an iPhone passcode. So I've just created mine here. There we go. And now I can transfer my data from my iCloud backup. So I just hit here 
and I need to sign in with my Apple account. Now you can choose your backup. I have an iCloud backup for today. So I just select this one. So here's all the information about the backup. So I just hit continue. So now it's restoring. I just need to wait. There we go. After restoring the data, it just restarts. So you just need to wait. Okay, so my phone is back. So now it's working. And when I get here, I see that the apps are being installed. So you see here, a lot of them waiting, waiting, waiting. So they're being installed, okay? So then I come here back to settings. I see there's some information available there. You see the restore is in progress. An estimate of 4.7 gigabytes will be downloaded to finish restoring all my apps and data, all right? So that being said, I come here to general and take the iPhone, take a look at the phone storage again. You see here that I have right now 17.95 gigabytes of 64. So it's still downloading around four gigabytes here. So I'll have like 20 something gigabytes in total, right? Comparing to bef before that I had like 62. The difference is huge. You see the system data here. It's just a tiny bit now, right? If I come down here, I can just even check the system data now is five gigabytes. Remember before it was like 37. So the difference is huge. The iOS is the same because it's just the iOS. There's no way to reduce this, but the system data, the difference here is really, really huge. And now it's working and I can work my phone again. I just need to wait for the data to restore and I'm good to go, right? So I know it takes out a lot here. It's a little bit scary to start fresh, but it's better than replace my cell phone here and it's working now, right? I hope that helps. Leave your comments here. Subscribe to this channel and I see you in the next video.